Hi everyone and welcome back to the Arne and Carlos Advent Calendar for 2023 and we are as always your hosts Arne and Carlos and, and Carlos you should light the candles yes well actually we're still at candle because the candle because we haven't uh, gotten that far oh, uh, soon, soon soon it'll be two candles but so far, it's just the one candle for yeah. joy, I believe it is. Maybe. I think so. I think it's joy. Yeah. And uh, yeah, this whole Advent thing is when you wait for Christmas. And I think I've been waiting pretty much for the, you know, the lighting of the second candle. Um, I think that we don't have enough candles here. You know, sometimes we have, right to, now. No, but sometimes we have to remove the first one because it's, it's burned too much until we have lit the fourth. The second one. Yeah. When we come to number four, the first one is yeah. this big. Well, in that case, we'll just do some musical chairs yeah. and move yeah. them around. Yeah. Yeah. But so far, so good. So I mean, far, so uh, good. we're doing, what, 15 minutes a day? So uh, 15 minutes a day. And then when we do candle number two, they will actually look quite even, yeah. actually. So I think it'll be good. It will be good. It'll be great. <laughs> anyway, we are back with our uh, daily advent calendar that we are doing in December mm -hmm. from uh, December 1st until December 24th. We are from Norway and we celebrate Christmas Eve as our main holiday. Yeah. Uh, but the good thing about, you know, if you celebrate it on the 25th is that the advent calendar, every day we reveal part of a pattern. And this means that the last reveal will be on the 24th. Uh, which means that you will have time to complete your sock and stocking uh, in the evening of the 24th. And put it up on the 25th. No, put it up at, at night on the at 24th. Night. And yeah, then, so it's ready for the morning. And in the morning, hopefully, it will be stuffed with a whole bunch of goodies <laughs> yeah. and lovely things uh, for Christmas. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking yeah. anyway. And talking about Christmas, you know, we talked about that curtain yesterday. And mm. And I went yeah. into the dollhouse. Let's do a quick recap. So yeah. yesterday, yesterday somebody had mentioned our beautiful curtains. This is uh, William Morris' Strawberry Thief, yeah. which we love so much. And then this is the version we got in Japan, mm -hmm. the smaller one, of the Strawberry Thief. Yeah. And this will be curtains in the dollhouse. Yep. And I decided I will li put lining of on course, them in gray. Of course. But we have to make like... Uh, Let me see them. This stick you put up so you can place the curtain on. Yeah, and we, oh, you know what would be cool? Curtain rings as well. And curtain rings. Is this all we have? Yeah. That's it. It's all so small pieces. I thought it was enough for the big doll. We have the Italian one. Mm. But it's not. Not, uh, well, for a small thing. But we can get two curtains out of this. Yeah, it's enough for the curtains. Just for or two? Could, yeah. One on each side of the window. Well, only one room. We don't have the same curtains in no. many rooms, no. And then, when I was in the dollhouse, I took this out, the Christmas tree. I don't know if some of you might remember. We did this, was that the first year we worked with YouTube or second no, year? No, I a think long time maybe ago. was the second or maybe even the third year. Yeah. We knitted a little Christmas tree for the dollhouse. I think we also had made a pattern for it. Yeah. But then, now this is so full of stitch markers. Yeah, somebody had given us a, a gift set of stitch markers in silver. Yeah. And we ended up putting them as Christmas decorations on the tree. Because we don't really use stitch markers know, not that, that much. much. But we have to polish them maybe in yeah. silver. Some of them are getting darker. So, but we also have more now. And I saw, we saw the, this movie. What's its name? The Coraline? Yeah, the I doll Coraline. I think it was the doll yeah. Coraline, and there was like this behind the scene movie, and there was this lady. She was making the Christmas tree of uh, pipe dancer. What is that? Oh, pipe cleaners. Pipe cleaners. So I'm going to look for green pipe cleaners yeah, yeah. and do a more a complicated Christmas tree, yeah. like the one I saw on that behind the scene movie. Yeah, that would be a very, very good idea. Cool. She was yeah. actually working with this. Yeah, little, probably under a microscope. Yeah, it's and so she small. made. All the branches. Yeah, so, so cool. I think it's time to yeah, so refresh 
freshen up the Christmas yeah, tree. Yeah, so uh, if you recall yesterday, we showed Marilyn's Christmas trees, which were insane. I mean, in a good way. Yeah. Uh, and then we come up with this one, the knitted one, which is a little bit of a simpler version. But I think you want to upstage Marilyn with your no, very I, realistic pipe cleaning Christmas tree. I just want a, a green Christmas tree with branches. Okay. Because we have more of these stitch holders now, mm. or stitch markers. Yeah. So we can put all of them on the Christmas tree. Yeah. You know, there yeah. has to be Christmas in the dollhouse. Christmas in the dollhouse coming right up. And this year they will have curtain, yeah. curtains in the drawing room. Yes, William Morris, Strawberry Thief, which is probably one of the, our most favorite prints ever yeah, made. I like this one, it's very nice. Yeah. It's very beautiful. So that's uh, you a know project when, before you know, when Christmas. This, when this print was made, it was actually quite, uh, quite hard because yeah. uh, it's like 10 colors or something. Yeah. So the whole... The whole process of printing this 150 years ago was not easy. Nowadays, we can do digital printing uh, with computers, but back in those days, they couldn't do that. So mm. that kind of explains why they are so I iconic. I think these are special made for Japan. Do you think so? I, I believe they it's are. They're so small. The patterns are so small. I believe they are especially made for Japan. Yeah. We have actually worked with the company that imports uh, Liberty Fabrics uh, from England to Japan, and I do know that they have. Yeah, uh, they have special uh, yes, fabrics. Yes, they have special fabrics Japan. that you can only buy in Japan. So, that's the new project. We just have to find out how can we do those. Uh, what you call those uh, curtain things? The, the curtain rods. The I think rods they're called. and the small curtain rings, rings would be really cool. Then I we don't have, have to. Figure to, out how yeah, to do it. and then we can just st uh, stitch the uh, curtain. You've, on each ring. I know. You can use a wooden oh. knitting needle. There you go. We have a lot of those wooden needles. There's only two in, in the package. Oh yeah, with, the thicker ones. With, yeah. yeah, with that little ball on the end. Mm -hmm. And we never use them. Yeah. Maybe we should make yeah. for the curtains. Wow, yeah, you come and up. And then we can have like these small silver rings and we can sew, sew them on. Mm. You See? really do come up with the best ideas, don't I, you? I know, and there will be curtains in the dollhouse for there Christmas. There will be curtains in the dollhouse. It's very important. Yeah, so as you guys know, we're doing this fun knit along in December. And every day we're popping in with um, a new, a new uh, reveal or a new clue, call it what you want. And uh, we are hoping, or we hope, that you are enjoying yourselves and that you're actually being able to achieve this project. I mean, it is only six rounds per day. So, it so it's possible. actually doable if you have an hour to spare. Um, well, an hour and 15 minutes because we do hope that you also sit here with us <laughs> enjoying your cup of whatever hot drink you're having. Um, and we hope that you get a little bit of a chance to wind down and relax. Yeah. Anyway, we ha we're having a lot of fun, Arne. And, yes. uh, by the time we finish uh, on December 24th, uh, there will be two stockings, identical. Yeah, there will be, because we made one yeah. before. Yeah, and we've bought these little things so that we can actually hang them in front of the fireplace. So hopefully that will be an image for you to enjoy as well. And I, I didn't know there were such things. But someone on one of the knitting cruises told us that yeah. you can actually get these things that you put on the shelf. Yeah. And you can hang the stockings. The stockings. From so I ordered four. Yeah. So we will. Well, <laughs> but you know, we only need three. But there's beautiful. Arne, Carlos, and but Freya. But there were four in the package. Yeah, that's true. Anyway, we're going to show you those as we get closer to Christmas. I don't think uh, there's a point in revealing those right now. Maybe we'll reveal them the day before Christmas Eve, and then we'll have them hung. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You see, Carlos, when you do this, <laughs> your, your hands get so big. Oh yeah. You have yeah, jazz yeah. hands. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's do it together. No, 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 that wasn't together. No. Okay, just hands. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the funniest thing oh, ever. Okay, funny. should we do it again? Uh, One more time? Okay, just hands. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to do this. Yeah. No, we have to. Anyway, oh, anyway, anyway. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. It's funny. Funny. It's funny how every, every time you laugh, you scratch your head. <laughs> yeah, I do. And I turn red. And, and I know. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Anyway, we're here to reveal the funny. pattern. Um, yeah, okay, let's, let's be serious. Pattern. We're let's here to, serious to reveal the pattern uh, or today's rounds, today's six rounds. And what you do is, so we reveal them here. 
And then when we finish the podcast, you run over to our website and you go to arnencarlos.com slash blog and you can download today's chart. Which Arne is so subtly. <laughs> yes, you're being so subtle with your reveal. You saw? I revealed it. Yes. This is me revealing. Mm -hmm. So this, this is what you're making now. Yeah, this is what you're making today. So I have to say, I think that report is yeah. finished now. And now you go further back to, so that everybody can see the whole thing up to now. Uh, we've got some uh, eight leaf roses and now we we're in between some traditional patterns. Mm. And now we've got a couple of hearts. hearts. These are the hearts that you put on the Christmas tree and yes. fill with sweets. Yes, correct. You make them with paper and you mm. do this. Yeah. Was the, What's not, that? Not jazz hands, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> frette. What's that? You, oh, you, you weave. You weave them. Yeah, or braid them or something. Yeah. yeah, That was a big thing. Like we were in Japan and we had this uh, workshop and yeah, we had a workshop in, was it Kyoto? Mm -hmm. And they have actually made a Scandinavian corner in the store. And yeah. there was this, uh, they had these hearts that you could buy the kit and do them yourself mm -hmm. or you could buy them. Yeah. And they had all our stuff books and embroidery packages and sock yarn and they did two weeks later we came back and it was all gone completely gone so they just made that up for that was a, a few temporary pop-up store that was actually in Shibuya. Shibuya not in Kyoto Shibuya scramble it was in Tokyo mm. Shibuya scramble yeah. very nice place yeah anyway guys go get your downloads <laughs> and start knitting your uh, your sixth clue or your sixth uh, reveal and please post it on, on social media. If you've got a Facebook account, if you've got an Instagram account, we'd love to see your progress. Uh, so just do that, post and let us enjoy it. And keep in mind, the pattern is only available for free until December 26th. After that, it will disappear and become a paid pattern. So you gotta make sure you download uh, the clues every day so that you get everything in one um, or everything you get it all together before uh, the pattern disappears. Yeah. So let's show the reveal again. This is what it looks like. It's coming. It's looking pretty so, good. Traditional oh, patterns. Traditional patterns coming right up. And we'll see. Will we continue with traditional patterns? Or will we do a moose moose? Or will there be, um, I don't know, could there be a Christmas tree? Could be anything. Could there be um, a cabin? Could there be uh, a reindeer? We'll see. It could be anything. It could be anything. Yeah. So um, <laughs> you've got to stay tuned. Huh? I mean, there's still 18 more episodes to go. Yeah. Yeah, 18 episodes to go. <laughs> oh, you're counting. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. just, uh, yeah. Uh, 18. 24 minus 6, 18, okay. yes. Okay, yeah. anyway, Arne, how about we do a few um, the advent other reveals? Sweater. Yes. Yes. And I think, I don't remember, was it? You, me? I think it's you. So, it doesn't uh, matter. We, we take, take it out and we take one each. There's two in there. No, they're both here, I think. No. Oh. Oh, okay. Hurry. Okay, so you read both. Okay, so I read. Let me see what Anna has found for us. This is from Sackfab. Sit in it for a bit. Nancy Joyce, 50. 5493. Three months, Three months ago. ago. Sackfab makes me so happy. I'm here enjoying some quiet time and it's the best time to enjoy watching you too. Thank you. Uh, no interruptions. But Arne, that doll is creepy. I could see the eyes following me. Weird. <laughs> Love looking at the water while listening to your stories and relaxing with my knitting. Have a super week. Yeah, Thank so, you, Nancy. So it's either the it's either Blythe, she thinks is creepy, or it's the Italian doll with the really big feet and I, the eyes that... It's probably the Italian doll. It could be the... Uh, have we showed people the Italian yeah, 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 one? Yeah, oh yes. Oh, we have to bring it out again. Oh, yeah. One day. Mm. But she's a bit creepy. If Actually, most people think Blythe is creepy. I like Blythe. She also moves, her eyes are going in different directions when you pull the string. But, yeah. but the other one, she actually has mm. one set of eyes and she looks... So at creepy. Yeah, they're very good. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> and let's do the other comment. Oh, yeah. I'm going to read this one. 
Well, also Sackfad. Also from, sit in it for a bit. At Foily JP1. Mm -hmm. Three months ago. Yeah. One of the things I love about Sackfab is the spontaneous way you have of sharing your lives. The funny stories, even of the troubles you have with your innovations and the window is so real. Oh, yeah, the window. <laughs> Everyone can relate to some bad decorating <laughs> decisions that they have made in the past. <laughs> we can, we can oh, all, yeah. oh, all yeah. relate oh, yeah. to that. <laughs> <laughs> We've done a few of those. So, you know you're not alone. <laughs> And the worst uh, thing is we correct them, which yeah. means that we, we end up <laughs> spending a lot. But we have a lot of windows now in the garage. We're going to we sell do, them yeah. in the spring. Okay. And the problem is once you start changing one window, you can't stop. So we've already done one, <laughs> two, three, one, four, two, four windows and four we still have windows. a lot to go. Yeah. So. Well, one of them, I'm going to use one of them in the yeah. studio. But the windows don't but match anymore, so you know we have to change them all. I know, yeah. but the studio window, yeah. the one that was really bad, goes in the studio. So maybe these are the next ones to be changed. What yeah. do you say? I, I need some... Um... <laughs> I, need, I need a break. <laughs> From renovations? <laughs> From renovations. Yeah, let's take a year I, off. I, I just haven't, I haven't finished. Yet. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay, I, I just love how truly real your videos are. Yeah, they are. Yeah, thank you. Uh, and I'm thrilled you are continuing your Wednesday sack fab stories. Haven't we stopped on Wednesday? Well, yeah, but we can talk about that Sorry. in a bit. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, also, I think that Cher looks her best as a blonde. Yeah, Cher. That was the name we gave the Italian one. Yeah, the one over there. Yeah, the, she's here. Yeah. She, she's she looks good. Um, I can't wait to see the new bigger dollhouse. Mm. Obviously, nothing happened this summer. Not Have yet. a good week and a safe trip back from Sweden. Oh, Thank lovely. you. Thank you. Oh, we were in Sweden at the time. We were probably yeah. in Sweden. So anyway, sit in it for a bit. Sack Fab is no longer on Wednesdays. We have moved it to Sundays and it's every other Sunday. However, not in December because in December it's every day pretty yeah. much. I mean, this is a mini sit in it for a bit daily, which is good. But we went back to the real life where yeah, we have to yeah, travel yeah. and do stuff. And you know, we're traveling um, back and forth to Sweden all the time now because of my mother. Yeah. And um, it, is, it is what it is. And I have to say, I, um, I don't regret it. I actually appreciate all the time I can spend with my parents in Sweden now. I think it's great. Yeah. And I'm glad that everybody here has been so generous and nobody has actually protested uh, yeah. when we had to move the podcast from Wednesdays to Sundays. So we want to thank you all for... Uh, for your support and your understanding that we only do sit in it for a bit every other week and then a regular episode every other week. It does allow us, it gives us more time to breathe and actually... And we can have even more to talk about. Yeah, yeah, we can on, actually do much, much better episodes but like that. I feel that the, the last sit in it for a bit we've done before Advent, we were in a hurry. We were traveling and yeah. and we didn't have... Well, not the last one, because the last one was the cast-on party for this. No, the last one, but before that, mm. I felt we were traveling, so it was yeah. difficult. But now, it's good. Yeah, yep, absolutely. So, yes. uh, thank you so much for your <laughs> lovely comments. We can't wait until tomorrow when we get two new comments to read. Yes. And uh, a new clue. Now, will there be any knitting in green or will it continue in red and white? You have to wait. It is so see. exciting yeah. and so much suspense. Maybe the green was just that. Yeah. I can't wait to see how it turns out <laughs> no. and we will see tomorrow yeah. uh, when we uh, show you a new little episode of uh, our advent calendar for 2023. And then we also have a competition. We do. The competition this year is split in two. We have one competition going from the 1st of December to the 12th of December. And then we will launch another competition on the 13th of December. And it goes until the 24th of December. So two completely separate competitions. That means that on December 13th, which is La Santa Lucia, we will press stop <laughs> and we will start again. Yeah. And uh, in order to become eligible for the competitions, you need to answer a question. It will be two different questions. And you are eligible to win two completely different prices. I can't wait to tell you what the prices are, but we're only gonna tell you the prices for the first competition right now. And you have to wait until 
December 13th to find out the second price. Yeah. And what's the question, Carlos? The question is, uh, for the first 12 days of Christmas, is when was Arne and Carlos founded? We're looking for the year. Which year was Arne and Carlos founded? The answer may possibly be available on our website. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Or on, you know, somewhere else. And Arne, tell everybody what they're eligible to win. You can win all the yarn you need for one sweater from Hildesvog Ulvar Fabric in Norway. That's our Norwegian favorite. Yes, absolutely. You will be able to choose enough yarn to knit yourself a sweater. Any sweater that you want. We're not going to give you the pattern, but we're going to give you the yarn. You can choose all between all the qualities that they have, and you can even choose from their humongous color chart or color card. It's going to be a really beautiful sweater of your choice in the color of your choice. So this is a really nice price. We're talking minimum 10, 100 gram skeins of yarn. That's one kilo of yarn. Now, the answer to the question uh, is something you can write down on the comments below. And uh, in the end of the advent calendar, uh, probably in the new year, we will randomly select a lucky winner from December 1st until December 12th who is eligible to win the prize or who will win the prize. It's only one prize. Yeah. Uh, and then um, starting December 13th, we will do a new competition, a new question and a new prize. And it's completely different to this prize. So stay tuned. You don't want to miss that prize either because no. it's also amazing. So that's it for now. And if you like our videos, put your thumbs up and be a subscriber and put on the notifications if you're a subscriber, because then you won't miss the episode. Yes, and the mailing list is really the best way to stay in touch with us and keep up with our shenanigans. And if you want additional content, uh, please consider becoming a member. You can do so by going to our YouTube channel, looking for the subscribe button, and then clicking on the button next to it, which is the join button. If you become a YouTube member of the Arne and Carlos family, you will receive um, lots of perks and benefits, including uh, live streams where we give you our knitting help, there are monthly shenanigans and cooking episodes. There are weekly 15-minute updates, uh, usually in the beginning of the week. And lots and lots of fun, including emojis and other things that you really don't want to live without. <laughs> so, thank you for watching, and we will see you again tomorrow. Bye! Bye.